I'm Dana Malcolm. This is your morning edition of Top Stories for Monday, February 5th, 2024. Coming up, the news that matters most. All business owners in Provo are being invited to participate in QuickBooks training for beginners. All roads lead to Blue Haven Resort on February 6th. Learn how to add customers and vendors, customize invoices, handle credit memos, refunds and sale receipts, and more. Facilitator is Pashina Williams. QuickBooks for MSMEs, courtesy of the Business Support Unit of Invest TCI. It's free. Register through their QR code or online. Intermediate classes coming in March. A firearms unit complete with a commander is coming. Five special investigators are also now deployed and a criminal and intelligence analyst is on the way from the UK to the Turks and Caicos courtesy of the UK Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office. The promises from a vexed Governor Delaney Daniel Selvaratnam and Premier Washington Mizik following two mass shootings in under 24 hours where nine people were shot, four men fatally, and the youngest victim, a 10-year-old girl, was hospitalized. Operation Shepherd, which has commandeered the services of the TCI regiment, will also continue amidst crazed gun violence which exploded in the Turks and Caicos in tandem with the release of a well-known HMP inmate and the funeral of a young man gunned down in October. On Saturday night, another shooting reported in Grand Turk. The target, a man not on familiar to police, who managed to escape. The co-chairs of the National Security Council reiterated in a joint press conference on Saturday, aired live on Facebook, that their mission is to detect, disrupt and dismantle. And they appealed for witnesses to any of the crimes to come forward. <laughs> That Saturday press conference by the governor and the premier was not satisfactory to the opposition leader Edwin Astwood, who said the PNP administration's policies have failed. He followed within an hour with the PDM's own measures, including a greater effort to know who is a resident in the Turks and Caicos. A detrimental unknown, explained Astwood, as it could include serious criminals. He offered that biometrics data should be collected from everyone entering the TCI, better equipping the police force. Astwood said talk of prosperity by the Washington Mizik administration is meaningless when residents are in fear about whether they will live to see another day. Magnetic Media is your news leader. There's only one place in Providenciales where you can really feel your duty-free savings, and that's at Sam's Club on Leeward Highway. Duty-free bread basket items on top of Sam's Club already low prices? If you're not shopping at Sam's Club, you're paying too much. A new Crown Council has been hired in the person of Tashana Williams. She obtained her undergraduate degree with honors in law from the University of Leicester in July 2018. And in March 2023, she was awarded a postgraduate diploma in professional legal practice at the University of Law. Her appointment comes as the DPP's office deals with a significant caseload with not enough staff. <laughs> A local fisheries management workshop will be held in Providenciales this Monday and Tuesday, February 5th and 6th, from 5 p.m. to 8.30. It's put on by the TCI Fishing Cooperative, and the event will be held at the DECR Environmental Center. Learn about bookkeeping, quality control, and much more. <laughs> The Turks and Caicos Islands Airports Authority has finally completed several projects intended to help alleviate congestion at the Howard Hamilton International Airport or Providenciales International Airport. That includes the extended vehicle drop-off, new airline offices, security checked baggage search room, and significantly, the extension of the in-transit passenger lounge. Additionally, an airline office building has been completed with rooms for each airline, allowing them and their passengers to have dedicated spaces. By May 2024, seating capacity will increase by 40% with the construction of a new building. Fishermen in South Caicos recently got their very first batch of spiny lobster casitas. Announced on January 26, the artificial habitats aim to provide homes for the lobsters after coral was destroyed during the 2017 hurricanes, resulting in a decline in the population. The decline in lobster homes and the increase in fuel prices have made it more expensive to engage in lobster fishing. That high cost is what the government is trying to counteract. The fishermen will be able to deploy the casitas where they think is best. As for weather in the Turks and Caicos Islands today, 
Rain, rain, rain is on the menu. We will have scattered thunderstorms in the morning, becoming more widespread in the afternoon. The highest it will get today is 79 degrees Fahrenheit for tonight. More rain becoming windy with thunderstorms likely. A low at 73 degrees is expected. Chance of rain is 100% and 1 to 2 inches of rain are expected.